It was John O'Fru who's up straight after me, and he's going to do that uh, and introduce quorum sense um, and, and the whole rationale for this. So I think it's actually his moment to shine. So, John O'Fru. <laughs> Yeah, welcome everybody. Um, my name's Jono. I um, just want to thank firstly Sam for all of his hard work he's put into this event. Um, there's been a lot of work going on behind the scenes, certainly above my calibre. And so um, Sam, I just want to thank you for all the work you put in, man. It's really, really appreciated. Great to see a big turnout. Who's excited to be here today? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we can do a bit better than that, can we? <laughs> Jesus. So, um, I'll tell you a little bit about myself. I've had a very long um, background in what we call conventional farming and, and also chemical agronomy. Um, what I found in that, in that realm was that it sort of was quite competitive and there was a lot of people really hell-bent on being sort of right in what they were doing and really focused on production and being the best, but no one was talking about whether they were actually making any money and what the cost was not only to themselves, like from a monetary perspective, but from a, a social, economic perspective as well. And so I worked like a dog for sort of 13 years trying to make it work in that system, um, being told what to do and ticking boxes and all those, all those sort of real dubious, boring ways of farming. Um, until one day I come out of a job as an agronomist and a, and a chemical applicator company manager to get the opportunity to manage a local uh, mixed cropping, organic sheep and beef farm. And that um, gave me a lot of perspective on, well actually I, I really didn't know it all, and um, the level of discomfort involved in that was quite confronting, but what I found in, in sort of embracing that discomfort was I was able to learn a whole lot more than what I thought I already knew. And like I had the certificates and the you know, the qualifications to say that I was good at what I did, and in fact I was sort of top 5% production with Fonterra for a few years, um, but didn't make any money and I was quite miserable, and in fact I burnt out a relationship, a marriage, um, doing that. And so one day I, I decided that um, there was a lot of people sort of hiding in the wings doing really cool stuff. Um, I got to meet uh, Simon Osborne and Nigel Greenwood here, and realised that they had been doing really cool stuff sort of in the wings, under the radar and certainly whether it was for fear of judgement or what but when you look at the word conventional it is sort of, it's, it's termed the, the normal, you know, the normal way to do things and I guess anything outside of that conventional realm was seen as some form of alienation and so people weren't that keen to stand up and be in that and then I came along and I was sort of not too bothered by it and what I, what I do I need this? <laughs> Can you hear me at the back? Yeah. yeah, okay, so what I decided was that all these guys had a lot to offer and that no one person could really achieve what we needed to achieve as far as innovation outside of what we knew to be the, the way forward and we could see profitability and farming dropping and debt rising at a rate that no one could really comprehend and certainly no one was talking about it. I rang Simon Osborne up one day, followed by Nigel Greenwood moments later, and I said, look, after a discussion with an older gentleman local here about the impact a small discussion group had on him as a young farmer, I thought to myself, that's something that's probably missing. And we wanted to create a format where people were able to share things with no judgment and things that were outside the box as far as what was conventional or the normal way to do things. We held a preliminary meeting on what we'd all like to achieve as far as the discussion group and that was held some 800 metres from this very point. Um, a few of you were there um, and we decided that was just on a year ago actually um, that we wanted to create a group focused on this regenerative agriculture movement and diversity of species and working on profitability and what we found in doing that and what I found in taking on these new principles was that it was a whole lot of fun and people started getting connected again and they that this, this round disappeared where people felt like they had to hold on to all of the knowledge they had and this righteousness just disappeared. And what we found in that and people feeling okay to share and talk about not only the things that work but the things that don't work so well is that we then were able to not collectively fail but were able to embrace the cool things that were taking place largely under the wings. Um, so we created this group and we sat in my office one day at Hearts Creek 
uh, for three hours thinking about a name. And we got to the end of the three hours and we sort of, you know, many cups of coffee and we had all been aware of this new phenomenon called quorum sensing, which is, on brief, a sort of phenomenon that takes place when a level of, uh, of I guess, uh, diversity happens in, in a species where they are expressed and, and you get to a level of that diversity and different viewpoints and, and magic happens. And we took that phrase and we added sense to the end as to be common sense because it seems like common sense, right? And so there began quorum sense. And so we've been in this game for a year now. Um, we have a realm on Facebook that's getting up around 800 members. We have a core group on WhatsApp, which is a safe space for people to share. It's governed by myself, where you don't have uh, any fear of exploitation of what we call IP or anything like that. It's a fully safe space, and what we've found to get out of this little group has just been amazing in the you know, less than 12 months that we've been operating. And then a few weeks ago, literally, uh, Sam Lang and Simon Osborne had a brain fart at Simon's house thinking, well, maybe we should turn this into a bit of an event. And um, this is the result of that brain fart just three weeks ago. And so it tells me that the community is ready for something like this. This is a ground up initiative. This isn't telling people what to do, just sharing our information and our perspective so that you guys can add this stuff to your toolkit. <coughs> I will add that some of the things you're going to hear today will contradict some learning you've had and it's going to challenge your mindset a little bit. I invite you just to really embrace that, that real, there may be a level of confrontation, there may be some discomfort. There's nothing wrong here, it's just to add to your toolkit and it will be, it will, it will be a point in your life that that will come out and be of use to you. So take home as much as you can. Take notes, because there's some pretty cool speakers today and it's a pretty cool opportunity. That's a bit about Quorum Sense. Um, anyone that's interested in joining the group can approach me. My number's, uh, not up there. it's not up there. You can find it on my website, naturalperformance.co.nz. All my information's there. Give me a call and we can discuss your input or you're, you're coming on board the group. Um, thank you all for coming today and I hope you have a fantastic day. Mm -hmm.